I may take more faith than you've got today to see a church, the church of the true, one true living God, not divided. Because man, it is divided. But that's all because of immaturity. That's all because of an unrenewed mind. And of course, don't forget we have an enemy in there, and his mate and his main scheme is deceit and um, uh, lies, and to be a bully, to intimidate you and back you off from what you know is the truth. The only problem is we have set everything that we're doing up as a ministry to not be bullied by anything or anyone uh, because we started with nothing and we still have nothing except miracles and except more sons of God that can do miracles. So nobody can take this away from us. There's nothing to take away. We don't even have a church building. We meet in homes and we train people and we train families and we help them understand even how to train their kids in this gospel. The result is massive fruit. We are seeing um, more massive fruit. I've been in born again for like 20, I don't know, upper 20 years, 26, 7, I have no idea. I can't remember. Uh, 20 some years. And I was in church that whole time. We are bearing more fruit now in terms of discipleship and people coming into maturity than I saw in all those years put together in those other churches. And I've only been a part of two and just most of most of that time two churches and so we have discovered some secrets that make it work and we had to go through hell to learn those secrets we had to go through persecution to learn those secrets we had to go through having everything stripped away from us uh and uh and you know we went through a, a pretty pretty harsh persecution for uh holding to the truth but it was worth it and i would do it a thousand times again i would go through uh, everything I had to go through to get to this place all over again without question because uh, we have found him we have found his power and we have found truth and we are growing in it and we understand it and we're able to train others in it we are able to release the power of God at will in any given situation most people we touch are instantly healed no matter what it is having said that I'll say what Paul said we haven't reached perfection <laughs> Because our goal is, in the will of God for me and for everyone who calls himself a son of God, is to grow up into Christ in every way. Okay? Uh, that is unto, uh, this is what Philippians 3 says in the Weist, in the Kenneth S. Weist translation, which is a literal Greek to English translation. He says, to reach a place of spiritual maturity beyond which there is no progress. Again, the religious crowd is going to argue with that because they have been indoctrinated by traditions that are that whose only goal is to prevent you from coming into maturity. Uh, this is the enemy's propaganda to disassociate you in every way with Christ except for him as a savior. The devil does not care if you get born again. He cares if you grow up into him, which is the calling, the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's what it says in Romans 8:29 and a bunch of other places that we were predestined to be conformed into the image of Christ. And if you should happen to get a hold of some of these verses somehow, um, there's some other traditions that have been laid uh, that try to put all of these promises and these realities and these things that are alive in our current dispensation, our current age, our current covenant, and put them somewhere else. Put them, you know, you know, put them back when Jesus walked the earth, or put them back in the time of the early church. Uh, or put them for in the future when Jesus returns. See, the enemy is going to cut you off from the Word of God in this dispensation as much as he can, as often he's, he's, as he can, because he, he heard it from Jesus' mouth. The gates of hell shall not prevail against who? His church. That means his church is going, there is no place, this is the destiny here, this is what is going to happen, and this is what you can be a part of right now, there is no there is no way in which hell can prevail over you whatsoever. Let me say it again. There is no way, according to the word of God, in which hell can prevail over you or over his church whatsoever. If that's true, that means that nothing is impossible to us. That means that nothing is out of bounds concerning the kingdom of heaven and doing the will of God. That means we can not only do the job with confidence, but we can bring it to pass. We can fulfill the word of God. We can do what is necessary to keep the commands of Jesus. And that is exactly what Jesus expects of us.